Untouched snow, Beck. Here's the place where we're staying at, pre-dock. Uh, design named after an architect from, pretty famous architect from Albuquerque. Lots of stairs at this place, but the view's pretty spectacular. Gotta watch out for ice. Good firewood for the wood burn stove. Three C. Buenvenidos. Mi casa es su casa. Which means. Welcome. <laughs> Was it pretty? Was it pretty? Yeah, it we're getting was. some good, good footage of everything. Uh, Got the Indian music playing in the background. Got Imogene playing with her finger paint there. <laughs> 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 cool little reading nook. You can see house just kind of goes straight up. It's really cool. Pretty nice bedrooms with views and kind of fancy bathrooms too. And lots and lots of stairs. Another bathroom this away. The master bedroom, which, which is really cool. Beautiful view. Patio. And the loft for the kids up above. And another neat little room right here with a lot of natural light. Kind of a living room. And then where Rebecca and I stayed on the top floor, which actually is the best view Messy. and the best exercise. <laughs> but it's pretty cool here, and especially at night. You see everything lit up really good. Pretty neat little casa. Coming into the village. Pretty cool little area. Gotta be careful though, cause you get lost. It's cottons where we got our skis. And look at them lines on Saturday. Everybody's out skiing. Rebecca's little coffee shop, Black Diamond Espresso. This is the old Blake here. Heated pool and hot tubs and dandy view. And in the back, back there you can see our place, the pre-dock. And we're on that upper floor with all the nice views. Becca, the black diamond queen. <laughs> All right, you go up there. How do I? There you go. You got it, dude. Keep the ski straight. All right. Rebecca standing in front of the Kachina chairlift and Kachina Peak. And that's where two years ago the inbounds avalanche killed a couple skiers, buried them under six feet of snow. So they've currently, with all the snow we've had this season, got that area closed off because it's a high risk for avalanche again.
Travis right here at the top of Lift Number Four. Got the Chena Peak in the background. He's about to go tear up some more blues. They're trying or not to die, basically. Maybe the blues are going to tear him up. We don't know. But we will follow up. And that's a wrap. This is Travis on Baby Bear. Blue. Wiping out. <laughs> Got some more fresh powder last night. It's about 820. Gonna head on down and it's what? It's no powder. Say hi, MG. Hi, <laughs> We're having a chef prepared, chef prepared breakfast here. Miami. Get all energized so they can dig themselves out of the snow later. Mm -hmm. oh, I literally buried myself in snow. Jibbo's like. Hey, follow me down this thing. You gotta get a little speed. <laughs> so I go and I got some speed and I was about to go over it and then I fell. Boom. That and then I little had to, like, ditch, Becca. I had to crawl through. down this gully. The same, like, same gully. Half yeah. Deep snow. It was, it was embarrassing. We just got a fresh jump in about 10 inches of powder last night. We've got some untouched snow here on the corner shoot. Left to hit St. Bernard here. Here we go. That's steep. Making this look ugly. Almost there. Uh. 
That's probably the hardest run I've ever done. Right there. Break through this stuff. It's heavy. 